in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create an online course on Thinkific. To follow along, download the step-by-step -step checklist at grumo.com forward slash go Thinkific. Let's do it. So the way Thinkific works is that you first set up your online school where you're going to upload your courses, three courses maximum on the basic plan. Then on your courses, you're going to upload your chapters, and lessons. So the lessons mostly are going to be video lessons. This tutorial is divided in three sections. The first one, we're going to deal with how to set up your school, customize the design of your school, and set up integration, specifically payments. So you wanna get paid for your amazing work. On the second section, we're gonna talk about uploading your course, setting up your course settings, like your thumbnail and description, and instructors buy and all of that. Finally, customizing the landing page for your course so you can get a lot of people to end up buying your course or joining your class, whether it's free or paid. And finally, we're gonna talk a little bit about promoting your course. Section one, create your online school. First step, create your free Thinkific account at thinkific.com. So you go to there and you click get started for free and pretty straightforward, enter your first name, last name, email, password, follow the instructions, verify you're not a robot and click create account. Once you've created your account, go to settings to edit your school name. Under settings, site details, you can change your site names here. Next, you wanna customize your online school URL. So we click on site URL and you click and this little button and you say edit URL and you'll be able to edit this part of the URL. If you wanna have a custom URL that doesn't say thinkific.com, you will have to upgrade. Next, if you have a paid account, you could upload your custom logo and you would do that here under branding logo. Next, you will pick a theme under design your site theme library. So if we go to our theme library, you can pick from several themes. The default one in this case is Empire, which has four different styles, which basically are different color modes of the same style. Then you can customize your theme under the site builder here. The site builder is a very powerful customization tool. I would start by changing your main banner image on your school under homepage banner. So we go to homepage and then we go to banner. We can edit the hero image. And if you want free stock pictures, you can go to pixels.com or pixabay.com and you can type something like laptop and you'll have lots of office-like pictures that you can use as your banner. So in our case, we could just change this by uploading a new image and we would select a file to upload and that would change our banner. We could upload it, select the cropping, and there we go. It looks very nice. Click save every time you make any changes, and now we have our new banner. You can also change all titles and descriptions. If you go to headings, that could be my school, and here a little description of your school, click save. You can create as many custom pages as you want to. A typical one would be an about page. To do that, you would go back to pages, then to custom pages, add custom page, give it a title, click add. Now you can change the banner and add a section. There are many different section types. You could have something like text with a CTA, and you would edit this as well by clicking on text and you can change the title here to about, click save, and then put a description of your school in this section. There is a lot you can do with the site builder. So I recommend you get familiar with some of the advanced design features like sections, more theme settings, page visibility, etc. For example, if you go to add any section, you'll see that there are many different section types. You can add additional products, banners, categories, a countdown timer, frequently asked questions, images, social proof like reviews, logos, testimonials, which will be very handy specifically when you're creating landing pages for your courses. That takes care of the basic design of your online school. Next, we're going to complete your instructor profile under Manage Learning Content Instructors. You go to Manage Learning Content, click on Instructors, and then you will edit your profile here where you can 
change your name, your email, a little description of your experience and a picture. Next, we're going to connect Stripe or PayPal so you can collect payments. We do that at Market Cell Integrations and then you would connect your Stripe account by clicking this button or enter these details for your PayPal account. Once you've entered your details, you'll be able to start collecting money. Yeah! To complete setting up your school, you would connect your email marketing, which is a paid only feature, but it would be useful if you already have a tool like MailChimp or Constant Contact or ConvertKit, which is the one I use. That way, every time a student signs up, you could put them on an email sequence to check up on their progress to make sure that they're happy with what they're learning and to increase the engagement of your students. Section two, create your first course. Now the moment of truth, we're going to create our first course on Thinkific. So we go to manage learning content, click on courses, click on new course, and you have a bunch of different options. Blank, pre-sale, mini course, flagship course, webinar replay, membership resource library. And if you want to start with a kind of a template for a typical course, you could use the flagship course, which is going to pre-populate your course with some chapters and lessons in draft mode, and then you could edit them. But let's go with the blank option, give it a name, click create course. Great, our first course is created. So we named it. Now we're going to create the chapters. So let's say that we're going to have three chapters. Chapter 01, save. Let's add a second chapter. Chapter 2, save. And a third chapter. Chapter 3, save. Now you could add the lessons manually one by one inside each chapter, but if you've already created your course, you can use the bulk importer and add all your lessons at once under each chapter. So that's what we're going to do. And what I like to do is when I create a course is I create as many folders as chapters and I put the video lessons inside each folder. And then all I have to do is I can drag all these files into the chapter that I want to, like that, boom. And now the files will be uploaded. It will take a little while, depending on how big each video is. You can also select files. If I go here to chapter two, I could select those ones there. And then I could do the same thing for chapter three. And I could go to my course and chapter three and boom. Now we just wait a little bit and all our files and all our lessons will be uploaded. Now that all the lessons are uploaded, you could rename the lessons. Really depends on what was the original file name of each lesson. In my case, they're named properly, so I don't have to do much, but if you wanted to change the title, you just go here, type a new title and click save. Next, we would add lesson descriptions. This is optional. But once you upload a video as a lesson, you can scroll down and add some text here, which is great to give some context or links to other resources or whatever you want to do. You can even embed more videos here if you want. It's a very powerful editor. The next thing is you could add downloadable materials like a PDF or worksheets. So you just scroll down and you could select files and go to downloads and then it would upload a PDF file and you can upload several files if you want to and you click save and then your students will be able to watch the video, read a description and download any additional materials. There is also the option to create assignments, but that's only available on the paid plans. However, quizzes are free. They're available on the free plan and the way you add a quiz is to just click on add lesson and you can see you have many different options here. So here you will click on quiz and then you would start creating the different choices for each question. You will select the correct answer and you're done with your quiz. 
Great, so now we have our course uploaded. We're going to customize the settings of this course specifically. The first thing we're going to do is change the URL under Manage Learning Content, Courses and Settings. We go to there to Settings under our course, and we can change this URL if you want it to do something more SEO friendly. Next, we're going to upload a course thumbnail. We go to Course Image and Description. We click on Upload. We will select an image. Upload it. The image has been uploaded and we click Save to make sure it's saved. Now we can enter a short description for the course, something like this. And we click Save again to make sure it's saved. Another thing that you can do is select the player appearance and the player is the video player that's going to play your lessons. And to do that, you would go to course player appearance and you can select either light theme or dark theme. There's other settings that are available on the pro version as well, but I like the dark theme. Why not? As you're making these changes, you can always preview your course to see how they're looking. You can see we have the dark player and we can check different lessons. And this would be the same experience as your students would go through. Now, a very important thing is to set the pricing. So we go to pricing and we can either make it free or a one time payment. And for that, you have to have already connected your Stripe or PayPal account to do so. And if you have upgraded to a paid plan, you can also set a subscription or membership or a monthly payment plan. So we finished creating the course. Now we're going to customize the course landing page. The way the theme builder works in Thinkific is by sections. And when you're building your landing page for your course, I suggest that you add seven sections to increase conversions. By default, you're going to have a banner, then a description of your course, then the curriculum. People can see the lessons and the chapters of your course. Then they can learn a little bit about you. So you can add an instructor bio section as well. Then frequently asked questions, testimonials, a social proof. And finally, another call to action below the fold, because this is going to be pretty long. And eventually your potential students are going to be scrolling down. You want to make sure that they have several options throughout the landing page to buy your course. And of course, you can add more sections, but I think this would be the minimum amount of sections to make sure that you have an effective landing page. Now let's build all these sections inside the theme builder in Thinkific. The first thing we're going to do is to upload a custom banner for our course. We go to design your site, site builder, click on courses, select your course. And now we can see the landing page for our course with the different sections. We have a banner and curriculum sections by default. Click on the banner, click on the hero image, click upload a new image. We're going to select the course banner now, upload, save. Now we're going to add a call to action button to our banner. To do that, we click the add button under the banner section. Now we can click on the button and change the text to something like buy now. Then we have to select which page the students are going to be redirected when they click on the button, which in this case should be the checkout page. And we have to select which product, which would be our course. And if we had prices, we could select the price as well here. Now we click save and we have our button ready. To complete our landing page, we're going to add five more sections, starting with the course description section. So we go back to our course landing page. We click add section. We type text, text and media. And now we've added that section. We're going to put it on top of curriculum. And now we could edit the text and add a description here. Let's click save always. Now we're going to add an instructor section. We type instructor and we have to add an instructor bio. And right now there's only one instructor. So I'm going to choose me here. My instructor bio is there. Next, we're going to add a section for frequently asked questions. Go back, add another section, frequently asked questions. 
And here we will edit these questions to suit our course. Click Save. Add a testimonials section. As social proof, click Save. We would also edit the testimonials here. We can add pictures and the name of the person giving the testimonial and the testimonial itself. Finally, we're going to add a call to action section. Click Add Section, Call to Action, and then we would edit this section. We would change this button to Buy Now as well, which we can do easily. Click on the button, Buy Now, Checkout Page, select a product, and we will select a price if we've connected our account with Stripe or PayPal. Click Save. And we have pretty much our first course landing page. And we can scroll here to see it. And we can rearrange the sections or add more sections if required. Isn't this beautiful? Our course is ready to go. So we are going to publish it. We go back to Manage Learning Content. Click on Courses. Select our course. We're going to review that everything looks good. And now we're going to go to the Publish tab. Select Published. Click Save. And the course has been successfully published. So we go back to design your site and we preview our site. We should be able to see our first course. And as you can see here, it's listed in our landing page. We click on the course and we can see our beautiful course with all the sections that we just added. Now your main landing page for your school may look a little bit sparse if you only have one or two courses. So you could set it up that when people go to the main URL of your school, it redirects them to the landing page of any of your courses, in this case, this course. So to do that, you go to your admin panel, click on Site Builder, click on Homepage, click on Redirect, and select one of your courses. So in our case, it's just going to be our first course. Click Save. Now, anytime anyone goes to the main URL of our school, they will be redirected to our landing page for our course. And that covers everything that you need to know to create your online school and your first course. Section three, promote your course. Now it's time to promote your course and get some students. Now this topic could cover several tutorials. So what I did is I put three items that you could check to start learning how to promote. One is this link to Thinkific's own course launching article that would give you several tips on the best way to launch your course. Then something I always do is promote on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, etc. And I also like to promote via email, but for that you have to build an email list. Building an email list is something very important if you want to do your own marketing. And I highly recommend this article by Brian Harris, which is called How to Build an Email List, a proven system for getting a thousand subscribers, which is an extremely in-depth article with all the different steps you can take in order to build your email list and grow it. So I recommend you take some time and read it as well because it would help you a lot on promoting your online course. And we're done. You just learned how to create an online course on Thinkific. Congratulations.